Hey, good people. This is a very large, beautiful apricot that I've been uh, consulting on and looking after for the last few years. Unfortunately, I didn't have the opportunity to come in and consult on it before the last pruning, which was most unfortunate. And let me talk a little bit about why that's unfortunate. You see how much of the trunk you see exposed from where the trunk comes off of the main trunk out to the branches on the end. This type of pruning is called lion tailing. So what happens when lion tailing occurs? All the fruit is obviously gonna be out here in this portion of the tree. All of the weight, it's not evenly distributed along the branch like it's supposed to be. The other thing is, is the wind blows. It changes the way that the branch moves with the wind because this branch is moving all the way into the main trunk. So all of that energy, if you will, is concentrated out here on the end of the branch. And that's one of the things that is so damaging about lion tailing is that it just really changes as a tree grows it is if you as it were becoming um, very accustomed to how the distribution of branches are throughout that branch and when somebody comes along and changes that so dramatically it is very harmful for the tree it's very stressful for the tree and it can lead to branch failure um, another thing is that when a tree is pruned too aggressively so that suddenly sunlight is coming on uh, an area that has not previously had that intense sun, particularly in an area like this where we get so much uh, heat uh, from, from our, you know, the sun in, in the summertime, is that you risk the possibility of damaging, of actually sunburning the, the branches now that they're exposed where they weren't before. You can see uh, quite some time ago um, that kind of pruning had taken place and that's exactly what happened along this branch up here is that it was sunburn and that simply sloughed off over time as the branch continued to increase in diameter and that bark fell away from the damaged cambium. There's just certain types of pruning that is being done that you just simply do not do to trees if you truly are in the business of tree care. Tree care implies that you're caring for the tree in the way that is appropriate for that particular variety of tree, that particular region, um, that climate. There's so many factors that go into that. And that's what true tree care is. It's caring for the tree. This isn't tree care. This is unfortunately uh, most reckless, much like topping trees. That's not a way to prune a tree. I think most people know that topping a tree is not a way to, to prune a tree. Uh, lion tailing should be in the same category with topping. It's uh, simply put, it's over pruning. Uh, you can only take out a certain percentage of the leaf producing canopy per year and it's different from tree to tree to tree. It's not the same, not to be redundant or anything, for an apricot, an ornamental plum, and a mulberry, all of which I can see in this yard. Every one of those has a different response to pruning and a good, educated, qualified arborist should know what those differences are and know how to approach the tree. They're not making big cuts. They're not making uh, one of the phrases I hear um, tree companies use is the money cuts. The money cuts is something that looks dramatic enough so that you go, oh, wow, it's been pruned. I'm sorry, that's not the way. The best thing when pruning is done correctly is the tree simply doesn't look like it's been pruned. 
because a ha tree has a very natural way to look and the appropriate type of pruning that should be done is not aggressive enough that the tree looks like it's been pruned to death. So anyway, that's kind of my little rant for today as well as my little educational moment with uh, this poor tree. As I say, if you can't hug a tree, and this tree needs a big hug, hug a qualified arborist. Mm -hmm.